All right, it's Jay Foss uh, coming off a bad war, but our team's doing well. Uh, our alliance, rather, uh, have a chance to pull a, a decent upset. Changing gears to uh, War of Three Kingdoms and going in for hit number one. All right, we got green directly into Krampus. And purple into Krampus. Because this is 12 hits, I'm gonna try to play a little faster than I do in war. Oh, well, would you look at that? That was a nice lucky combo coming up there. Uh, we'll ghost it, try to get green on the bottom. I'll do this for the mana. Mm, kind of out of sequence there, because Elmdell has the Cyclops troop. I prefer them to all be synced and fire simultaneously. I'm not in a in trouble or anything. And I can get the null thawed mana and go from there. <clears throat> Surprised they didn't kill. It's all right. Build the board back up. And there's a green. Ghost over here and finish off Arco. And I hit one done. Hit number two, uh, there are two yellow here, so color relationship obviously, but gotta be careful here with the, might get behind with the minions. So it'd have to be a really bad board though. Well, we got purple, we can make a dragon. That's not two separate matches, so yeah, we'll take the dragon. Nice cascade. This should just about do it. If not, well, close. Gosh, I wish I got these boards in war. Hit two complete. All right, hit number three. So not a lot of yellow, but we do have a blue diamond to clear. Decent combo potential. Mm. Still not a lot of yellow. There's a few yellow at the bottom there. 
I'm gonna forego it and do the combo, I think. I'm just double checking, because I'm still gonna need some good clears here. And that will be a decent amount of yellow once they all go through. I could split it up technically if I will do it that way. I mean, either way would be fine, but. Heal up. Purple up the middle. Uh, we'll do this side. And we'll clear it and start working on the other side. Uh, we'll clear here. We'll probably fire Viv. It did not fire Vivica. Okay. I'll wait a turn then. So Vivica doesn't dispel the aerial mana thing. Still need another yellow. I know I'm rushing a little bit here, but I'm on a win, so no need to sit here and with 12 hits take unnecessary time. All right, we got a Vivica Revive. See how many she does. Two revives. Can we get to three revives? Nope, just two. Hit three done. Hit four, bringing out the hippo. See, the purple and the yellow is a big combo. I need seven blue. I'm not quite there, so we'll take the combo, see if we can get there. I really would like to set up a dragon needing seven. Let's try that once. We got six if blue comes up there, but we can get nine. Assuming Pingy doesn't kill anyone. And can we get a, a ghosted red, or is it just... Hold on, let's see. I'll die on the tiles, but... I need one more red, I need four. I'll just we'll get rid of him. Got some coming up.
Hippo for the win. All right, let's get this Miriam team. Got costume Gaffey on for the uh, minion counter. So not a ton of red, but we can set some up. We can definitely set up one at the top via green. Question will be, is there a better way to do it? <clears throat> we do have big clear potential too. We'll go here first to see if we need a clear. That messes up the big clear on the right, but should be okay. I do need seven red. Hmm. Okay, so this will be six, and I can play green into... It's two moves, but it'll get there. I definitely want to make sure I kill the tank here. Yeah, let's make sure we kill him. <clears throat> if it doesn't wipe aside, it's okay. Because... I'm going to do this first because I don't think it'll kill Miriam and then everybody will get the mana. I'll probably be playing to this side. Set the reds there. Heal up, cast dodge. Ooh, didn't quite get there. We'll use the tiles here to kill. And hopefully use the specials on the other side. Five done. And we'll bring in the secondary green team for hit six. We've been facing yellow tanks, so typically do a purple hit here for war or earlier for war, but not a, not a lot of yellow tanks, so this looked like a soft one, soft target. So not a ton of green, but some clear potential. We'll clear up the center, see what we can bring. I did have a green at the bottom, but... Two of the yellow diamond now, which is helpful. Uh, we'll play this green, chance of green coming up. It did not. This should set up a green on the right. Get the taunt protection going. Kill the revive potential. Got a double withstand there on Mother North, I think. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we'll get, we have time. It, she'll fire and it'll delay it, but. We'll just basically wait out the dodge here. And one more turn out. <laughs> Didn't really want to do that. That's okay. Tack up. We'll go with this and this. 
All right, six done. All right, hit number seven is. It's at a tough spot in the board with only like 10 teams left, so I don't think I've ever actually used this guy yet because I kind of leveled him after we stopped seeing Water Pipe in War. But uh, theoretically, he should be good. Didn't really have another good red healer. I have Garnet at plus 12 and Bull Tusk at 20, not Limit Broken. So bring him in Mother North. Hopefully we can get some purple. All right, um, definitely some clear potential. Mm. We also have one purple. Take the purple first and come back to that side if we need to. Well, play into that, see if purple comes up. No purple. That is no bueno. Um, hmm. I kind of need it clear, but the blue isn't enough. Uh, we'll go here, see what comes up. Maybe purple finally arrives. All right, now we should be closer to in business. So Freya will fire. Yeah, we'll just go here and I think I want to fire out of order here. Freya's the one, if I remember correctly, that dodges, okay, 60 to dodge special skills. And then this will make it go away first so no one misses. Following up is what I mean. I think I remember that mechanic from, yep. So although I don't get all the minions, definitely wanted to make sure that they didn't miss, basically. Gossick with plus 35% attack should pretty much... Ah, I healed first. Whoops. That's okay. Um, We'll kill him or come close to him. Finish off the healer with the tiles. Eat the Leonidas hit. He's not charged yet. That'll do it, though. That's okay. Just delays a little bit. Frimbo got the mana shield. Good for him. Use him as an attacker here. Well, I thought that would finish, but that's okay. All right, seven done. All right, I must admit I'm not fond of this uh, for several reasons, but it's hit eight, and there's only, like I said, ten or so left on the board. So I do have a Dispel. I do have a Prevent Buff. So I got another Dispel. I'm hopefully looking to get out quick um, with some purple. There's not a ton of purple. We can set up an opportunity for a yellow diamond, though, so we'll go there. And if Obakin doesn't fire here, this will be a lot of tile damage and do him on the pop. But I wouldn't want to fire it after he cast. Um, we'll cast here, and I think these four yellow tiles will actually do it. So we got our support color, which is helpful to stall. Um, play this, see if we can get a purple up. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. I was holding this spell. 
So I want to dispel that. Actually, what does he do to purple? Oh, minus accuracy. Yep, let's go. Hopefully purple comes up right there. Nope. All right, so we have two turns of dodge. This may be a point to consider uh, force firing the right side. Um, there probably is a purple there. I'm just going to slow down and see it. There's also some decent combo action. I mean, I got purple, it's three moves away. Still there though. And I want to fire the right side with dodge up. Um, or I can just go for the combos to get it. Lucky you maybe come up now. Let's go for the combos. We may need another heal. Nope. I didn't take the three move because I thought it would be too slow. But then I kind of screwed myself over. Because now I cannot force fire El Nadaha, I don't think. Let me see. By force fire, I mean I want her to fire this turn. And I don't think I can do that. Um... This Vivica does not make buffs. None of my purple heroes make buffs. So it's just basically I have to hold an Ari if, when El Nadaha fires. That is if I can ever get another purple at any point. <laughs> at this point with it still not firing. Is it like a crit troop over there? I'll go and take the yellow to get the heal going. And I can get the dodge up, actually, before the... So I'm going to go ahead and kill their healer. That's not what I would typically do. Uh, but I'm going to here. I need a dispel first, actually. Well, it wouldn't really matter either way. It's going to kill her. Uh, we're going to fire the dodge, because we don't want to do it after all the Daha fires. We'll save the boosted health. Yeah, we'll just go. It's all right. Heal up again. Just see if we can get a purple to come up. Or set up purple, rather. Go and cast this. See if she hits. And with all the boost from the later hits, that should take her out pretty easily. Hit. Eight. Done. Alright, pretty confident I've never used this combination of heroes, but that is the one fun part, I guess, about War of Kingdoms and going in for number nine. I mean, it should theoretically be okay. <laughs> Synergy-wise. Got one blue, would prefer to improve before taking that blue. We'll go here. That did not help much. We're gonna have to clear. Can we get the purple before Miriam fires? That might actually be helpful. It is a magic troop. Ah, uh, well. Extra combo brought up blue, so. <clears throat> we need two blue, though. 
So I might take this blue horizontally across because the three tiles may do it with all these bonuses. And uh, we'll see where we're at. So that's relatively helpful. We're still going to need blue pretty quickly. I'm about to get hit by a lot. Um, these are seven tile guys, so I can take this blue. And hopefully the right side doesn't fire. It's going to hurt a decent amount, though. So Bastet will fire, but Sabina's buff prevention is up. Don't do that to Anne. Come on. Messing up my plans. Make sure she's not a fighter. Okay. So we want the minions, of course. For Pingy. And that should do it with some poison and, well, it'll be purple tiles. All right, hit 10. This is a former Alliance mate of mine. If I had recognized he was on the board earlier, I would have saved a better team. Uh, the big thing here is I don't want to play to the Panther side because if buffs get prevented, then Tarlac does nothing. Um... In fact, because of that, I may see if I have something, another green support of some kind. I do have another Ratatasker. Uh, well, Gobbler. Let's do that. I just don't. It just seems too vulnerable if, uh, yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. These are all going to be sketchy near the end anyway. So that is, again, not a ton of my... There's a decent amount of green. Uh, this has got to be a clear, I think. There's a chance to a green diamond. That purple coming up kind of messed it up. Um, now I have another worthless diamond in purple. A pop gives me a green diamond on the left side. Which could prove valuable. Honestly, like normally I would save this because I can charge without, um, like I could make a, these two green and charge my heroes and then come back around and pop it and get the charge again. But because it's so many green into Miriam, I think I'm gonna pop it and try to kill it with these attack boosts and everything. Now, neither one of these are boosted health, but I will pop Lady of the Lake. I'll save Ratatasker for now. I can set up a Ghosted Blue. Uh, now's a good time while the minions are up, and I can take the Alucard Blue later. So I will get hit by Jove, which will kill my minions, unfortunately. Oh, and a decreased healing, so... Panther hitting will kill Lady of the Lake. I want to take this move first and see where we're at. Can I make the blue into all a car without Panther firing? Probably. It's uh, or I could pop this purple on the right side. I like this better. It should kill all a card. It's low, low chance at comboing in. It did combo. But not into Panther. All right. I don't want you firing yet because I have to hold off a turn. So you take a mana cut. 
You need to die. You're the biggest threat remaining, quite honestly. Ghosted here, and then heal. Oh, it might have already been gone. I may have not needed to wait. Uh, we'll clear under Panther since the board's pretty dry and she's going to fire anyway. Get hit with Mata, but that should be fine. Again, since she's going to fire anyway, well, that's, I don't think it's going to kill Lady Lake. So we'll take that one tile, charge Lady of the Lake, and then go. Heal up. Just take our time here. All right, hit 10 done. Hit 11, uh, bringing out the new hero. I'm getting low on fast heroes. Got a couple like I could have put Poseidon in here. Uh, but going with this. And uh, see, we can get nine yellow pretty quickly. I think we'll be able to get nine yellow pretty quickly. Just got to make sure I take them in the right order to not mess them up. Make the dragon for good measure, even though we only need a nine. <clears throat> All right. So that's... This is actually a cleanser. Let's hit all first. That's the important part. Hmm. He's really the only threat left. We'll clear. This bonus is like crazy strong. I wonder if it's almost too easy. I mean, I was already looking. We got like 12 or 13. That went 12 or 12 already. Watch, I'll miss my last flag now. Get the minions up to deal with the stone skin. Probably makes it less frustrating though for a lot of people that have fewer heroes. And minion party. I think that'll kill him with all these bonuses. So 11 done. Alright, final hit. I think I've killed 11 targets in all the actual live uh, War of Three Kingdoms. So killed 11 targets, you know, usually kill one and have a miss or, you know, clean or whatever. Um, but I've never gone 12 with 12. This new format's made it a little bit easier. So I'm hoping I can knock off this final target and uh, get 12 of 12. And that is a pretty good board. Just have to manipulate it. Definitely got the one red. I don't hate that playing into the slower side, but I'm gonna need nine purple this time to really get, or nine red rather. But it does play into green. Green diamond, that's helpful. A bunch of red. That's very helpful. Um, I'll just clear. There's a lot of red, so it's 
Looks like it's smooth sailing. And do this first and see where we're at here. Now Cleopatra is already on fire, so there's no real need to recast Jean yet. And these red tiles will do it. So 12 of 12, it's nice to finally do it. It kind of feels like uh, after all the 11 of 12s, it's nice, but it kind of feels tainted a little bit because of how normally there's like one, maybe two people that are 12 of 12, and there's, well, there's not a ton still. So I'm assuming all these all the way down to the 60, these, so probably 18 12 of 12s between the two teams, but... Changes are interesting. Um, it's definitely less frustrating. Um, I can see that. So happy to get it. And uh, let's see where we're at in ranking. For we are currently sixth in the Wii. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.